It does take a little while because every patient, uh, I mentioned the blood counts will go down and, and that's again some of what makes the treatment complicated, dealing with several week period where the blood counts are very low. Um, generally, every, even patients who may not go into remission, the, the blood counts will drop with chemo. The key is not just the blood counts dropping, but do you actually get it all out of the bone marrow such that the bone marrow can now recover with the normal cells. Many um, centers or trials will look at the bone marrow on day 14, okay? Why? What you want to generally see is actually that it's been emptied out. It still doesn't ensure a cure, but if you see residual leukemia by, at two weeks, that would be quite, quite high risk. So you hope to see early on that the bone marrow is empty. Now again, that's a good sign when it's empty because you've gotten rid of the leukemia. However, in some circumstances, the leukemia can come back. So even at day 14, you know if you have an empty bone marrow that that's good, but you still, it's still not a guarantee you're going into remission. So usually you're really not going to know for sure for about three to four weeks uh, when, when you would do another bone marrow and see is the bone marrow recovering with normal cells or unfortunately is the leukemia kind of temporarily wiped out and then starting to come back. So it does take a while to know if the treatment's working, which again is why it's important to, to be on the right path going in, because if you are not on the right path, now it's a good another month before you're gonna be able to potentially try, say, another treatment.